better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Oh, he's making a list and he's checking it twice. He's gonna find out who's naughty all night. Santa Claus is coming to town. sees you when you're sleeping He knows when you're awake He knows if you've been bad or good So be good for goodness sake Oh, you better watch out You better not cry You better not pout I'm telling you why Santa Claus, he is coming to town Hi, a very good afternoon to one and all. This is Gordon, your host, and uh, I'd like to welcome you to the third lucky dip for everybody across India. Today, there will be a winner, and there will be a winner who wins a Zomio software worth 53,100 rupees, lifetime access. Whoa, who could that be? So, currently in this holiday season offer, we have got a 40% off on Zomio and Zomio ultimate the moment you purchase any of these you automatically enter our lucky dip contest and uh, this is the third one we've got various dates after today our next lucky dip will be held on the 10th 17th 24th so you might be wondering that what is this mega lucky dip all about start make video play in the background and that is about uh, dubai right so one lucky winner will get an opportunity all paid trip with his or her partner to visit Dubai paid by us. So one winner and he can take one partner or she could take one partner along with her. So this is a mega, mega bumper prize that we've offered. So my dear friends, this is, this is a great, great opportunity for you. You still have time. If you have not purchased Zomio, now is the right time for you to go ahead and enter the lucky dip. And those who have, please keep your fingers crossed. You could just be a winner today. And today we've got Dr. Archana, who will be talking about a case of rheumatism and asthma, a small description about Dr. Archana, who's a BHMS and also a PGD EMS, homeopathic consultant and postgraduate in EMS, practicing for more than a decade, almost 12 years, treating various cases related to respiratory, allergies, skin, gastric, Troubles, hair fall, women health, etc. Working with Mind Technologies, it's, it's been the third year now. It's joined us in 2021. So we will uh, proceed, proceed to this wonderful session. So I would request all of you to please uh, sit back, grab your notepads to make some important notes on this wonderful session by Dr. Archana on case of rheumatism and asthma. 
over to dr archana thank you hello everyone myself dr archana and welcome to today's session out of everything that we have been taught in our homeopathic curriculum in theory and practice what are we most scared about when we have just begun in our clinical practice that is acute diseases and acute prescription there may be many such experiences in your practice when a case is there of fever acute migraine or cough and cold and it becomes very important to give you the patient the quick relief what important is there should be enough time for us to dig into a complete history take the case and see what is relevant to the case it is also important to be treated right in front of you at that point of time we need to have a complete knowledge which is strong enough to treat such acute diseases hence we need to be absolutely calm alert observant when we are treating acute complaints most of the times we are afraid of whether the homeopathic medicines can really act or relieve that acute complaints or not and that too very quickly and effectively we often doubt our own medicines and in doubt we end up prescribing remedies that may not be acute similimum for the patient so to sum up from all that i have been talking we should not think acute diseases as hurdles but as opportunities for prescribing homeopathic medicines and giving relief to the suffering individual we will now show you an acute case and how it was brilliantly resolved with homeopathic medicines with our elite software zomio so let's begin with a case of bronchial asthma in a 42 year old a man aged 42 years came to the clinic who was suffering from rheumatism and had a bout of bronchial asthma when we took his history here is what he had to say he had rheumatic pains and had an ailment from getting wet in the rains he was absolutely fine but when he had got wet in the rains while coming back from office he had got a bout of asthma and had approached us performing a short clinical examination didn't find anything relevant to the case but the cause was enough to determine the case analysis in clinical examination there was no underlying cause or relevant finding to be taken in the case so this is the case i hope you have noted the characteristic symptoms of the patient before we begin to analyze and solve this case let us take a few moments to think of a situation where we have to solve this case and prescribe for the patient without the presence of any homeopathic software we all may have our favorite repertories isn't it or those repertories we feel are most complete and which will cover most if not all the symptoms but the truth is that every repertory has its own strength some repertories have covered the mind symptoms very well why there are others that have more of a general bent and yet others whose clinical aspects are their forte now imagine browsing through each of these repertories manually to look for the rubrics that perfectly match the patient then painstakingly list them with their remedies and then compare and add up to see which remedy features among the top in the list it would turn out to be an absolute tedious and time consuming job isn't it deriving a medicine would take a long time but with computers and the right repertorization software all of this work can be done within minutes without compromising on the quality of case analysis or repertorization let us formulate first the totality of symptoms based on what we have elicited in this case the first thing 
that we have to see is the patient had rheumatism. The second thing that came to my mind was the acute bite bout of asthma. And the third thing not to be missed in this case was ailment from getting bit. When we examined this patient, there was nothing relevant. There was nothing relevant in the details of the desires, aversion, cravings or thermals as well. Now, this is a very minute or very uh, limited details that we have in this case. So, how do we begin in such a case which needs a prompt treatment and which is acute? We have a very limited number of symptoms with us. To be specific, only three. The symptoms that stand out are the quick progression of asthma because of getting wet. In his case, to be head, to be very specific. Looking at the intensity of the ailment, we prescribe with the knowledge of materia as well. Our next step is to begin entering the case in Zomio. But wait, before we start with this, as I had said, that we have a constraint time, an acute case solving demands a faster output. So how can we find the rubrics? Now here comes our software Zomio. It has an extremely useful tool, repertory search. Now let's see how we can start entering this case in Zomio and how quickly we can get into the same. Here is our software and we can now register this case. As you can see, on the left is our icon of Zomio and below are the menu options. As you click on the menu options, you can enter into the relevant modules. So let's see by entering a case. I click on patient and I can see this options over here. The first option is new patient. Let's start this with a new patient. I click on new patient and can I see a new form in front of me. We just start writing the name of the patient. Let's say the name of the patient is Sachin. I just enter the case and as you can see the age of the patient which is 42. You can see just with a click the date of birth also is specified with a sun sign. This becomes very important if you are uh, searching for any zodiac sign or any kind of moon phases for the same. We have other information like preliminary information where we can write down the occupation, marital status, religion, etc. and just click on save. As you click on save, two things will happen simultaneously in the software. The first thing would be on the right side of the option, you can see the name of the patient. And the second thing that happens is you can see the name of the patient entered in the patient list. We can see that this is our patient at the end. You can see how easy it was to register the patient. We don't have to keep any record book or any Microsoft Word document or notepad to enter all the details. We also have a very beautiful option of classic case record where we can start entering the case. As you can see on the left side, there is a chief complaint, associated complaint, mind, which has very beautiful options like emotional, subconscious, intellectual, life situation, so that you don't miss out anything in the case history. We have options like physical, where we have the options we just have to click upon. Like the appetite was normal, Hunger was tolerable, thirst was normal, etc. We have a specific option for sleep where we have the other bifurcations as you see. In thermals, we have a very beautiful automatic option to find out what could be the thermal modality of the patient. Say the patient wants slow fan in summer and you can see how beautifully it has automatically told you that patient is towards the chilly. So this way, friends, you can enter all the details and just in nick of time can find out the thermal of the patient. As we all homeopathic doctors rely on these details, which no other allopathic doctor would ask you for. Similarly, we have 
options in pediatrics like the birth details, vaccination, milestones, mother's history which is a very important in the case. We have fever option where in case of fever we don't miss out anything. Past history, family history, examination etc. In examination also we do have a compare investigation option which you can see at the below of this part. We also have an option of customize where you can write down the details or you can just copy and paste to the notepad. Now let's start with entering this case and let's say what could be the remedy for this case. Okay. Before that, also I would like to show you the repertories in our software. You can see on the left, these are all the repertories when we click on the repertory option in the classic view. And as you see, the complete, the most latest repertory which we have from the 2022. Now that we have registered the case and we are having constant of time and acute case solving demands faster output. So we have to quickly find the rubrics. Now Zomio has a very useful tool repertory search which browses through the entire repertory and gives you the search options within seconds. Now let me give you a walkthrough how quickly Zomio helps in repertorizing an acute case. Here as I have told you that there are a range of so many repertories. Now why do you need so many repertories? The reason is very simple. Sometimes there are very minute details that you see in a patient that are not available in any one repertory. So at that time, it becomes important to have two to three repertories handy. As we can see this option of search symptoms, here the blinking cursor, you have to write down any symptom that comes to your mind and the software will search through all the repertories that are there in front of you. Now here, it allows you to record the rubrics directly from the search option as well. This saves your time from opening a repertory physically and browsing for the rubric. Once you select the rubric, it gets recorded into the repertory sheet. Say for example, this is the complete repertory. Inside you can see the chapters. When you click on mind, you can see on the right side, these are the rubrics and say in alternating states, emotional or mental complaints with other, we can see all the remedies below. They are also graded as per the numbers. Number four for capital, bold one. Number three for red one and blue for two one and the normal one in black. So this is the way where so easily you can even open and find it out in the repertory. Say for example, you want to just right click and see this as a full symptom. You can see four mark, three mark, two mark and one mark remedies as well. You can even confirm from Materia Medica. Now coming back to our case, let's search for the remedy from the rubrics that we want to search for. First, I will click on this option and type rheumatism. Now let us select the rheumatism word. As you can see, automatically it is also telling you as to what word you should be selecting. So I click on this rheumatism and I click on search. As I click on search, I can see that I have total 2438 rubrics in front of me from which it is also showing from which repertory it is taken into. Say for example, from complete, you can see that there are 55 rubrics. These are the rubrics and this is the chapter and this is the remedy count. You can see in complete rheumatism has total more than 100 remedies over here. And on the right side, we can see that there are eight rubrics with the gradation mark of four in black. Similarly for three as in red and two as in blue. If we scroll down, we can see all the remedies as well. We have to search one rubric out of them. Let me take this rubric which is having the maximum number of remedy count. All I have to do is double click 
and on the top left side you can see this colorful box which is nothing but our repertorization sheet. I double click on this and you can see how beautifully it has got registered into the repertorization sheet. Now similarly let's take another rubric that we have and that is Asthma. I type Asthma and I just have to simply click on the search option like how we are doing the search in Google. To my surprise, I find 6,288 rubrics here. Now let's see the rubric for the rest of the totality. We select the special repertory over here. As you can see, this is the most highlighted one and it has more than 300 remedies, 342 to be very specific. I click on this option and this rubric also gets added into the repertorization sheet. Now thirdly, the most important element is getting wet. Let me type that. I just have to type over here is getting wet element. Now, as I search on this option of getting wet element, I get total eight rubrics. And these eight rubrics, I will be searching the one from the Myasm repertory. As you can see that there are other options as well, like ailments from getting wet, which is having four mark gradation. Then there is this ailments from getting wet feet, ailments from getting wet head, ailments getting wet when heated. Also, we have certain rubrics like difficult ailments from wet getting, feet wet head and heated. I want to be taking the rubric that is very specific to my case that is ailment from wet getting wetting head as the patient had said that he had wet his head. I just click on this option and you can see that we have total of three rubrics on the left side. I click on this and I can see that all the rubrics and the remedies in front of this. Now here is the repertorization sheet with the rubric selected as seen on the left side, as you can see over here, and the remedies inside arranged in the descending order on the right side. As I was searching for the rubrics, I realized how repertories have been very much an integral part of homeopathic practice. And this needs has led to creation and addition of newer repertories. Now among them, there are certain practical repertories which we use when the characteristics of patients are masked by the clinical symptoms. Now, they are known as clinical repertories. They contain corresponding group of remedies with the symptoms or conditions. Now, there are many clinical repertories available, but two of them are very known and very well known are general clinical repertories by Dr. J. H. Clark and Materia Medica with repertory by Dr. Boric. Now, there are other regional repertories also which help the practitioners. One of such is clinical Dr. Clark's repertory who had converted to homeopathy and worked immensely in its advancement. He specially designed this repertory for the study of huge Materia Medica. The Dictionary of Materia Medica. His repertory is very useful to facilitate the selection of remedy on the basis of practical similarity or clinical condition, causation and temperament. I click on this and I can see these three options which I have been telling you. The clinical, the causation and you can see the temperaments as well. Now causation is the very important and useful aspect of our case. I thought of using a rubric from this repertory and select one more rubric of asthma. So I type asthma over here and have this favoritism to select it from the Dr. Clark's repertory. And I can see that there is this rubric of largest remedy count of 144 and I select it. It gets added into my repertory sheet. So doctors, now we have four symptoms 
selected as you can see on the left and we also explore the materia medica to study more about we can say more than 350 remedies coming up 386 in this case so what i see is lachesis and spongia as the main ones coming up now before we go into the drilling of the remedies and rubrics in this case we will first see what is to be treated in this case the causation and what has elicited the acuity of the complaints we have a huge literature as you can see in materia medica of not one not not two but more than 2000 authors over here to be very precise you can see total 2410 authors but we also have to select one materia medica which is relevant to our case we check in the library section and we also have a philosophy chapter very beautifully we can see that more than 103 books are there over here we can select any favorite author and you can start reading as well say for example now in my case i want to read about the philosophy the type causation i go into philosophy and just see this third option of philosophy search and there is one more blinking cursor below which shows the search option and i type causation i click on search and you can see within a blink of a second we have searched for the causation word from all the library that we have from all the database of books and it is that 166 times that this word has appeared in our reference books now imagine how quickly we can search from the treasury of the same you can see all the authors over here on the last side i will select dr stuart close and as you can see that there are general interpretations also given over here in my case i am looking for the relevant thing that is the law of causation you can see the logic of homeopathy section and you can see the topic as well. I want to read about the law of causation. And you can see how beautifully it has been given into this. The law of causation. The science of logic has an important relation to medicine in the matter of assigning the causes of disease upon which as far as possible treatment is based. If treatment is to be governed to any extent by the idea of removing or counteracting the effects of the cause of the disease, it follows that success will depend upon the correct conclusions as to what constitutes the cause or causes. So here you can see without even opening any other book, I have found out the causation. Similarly, we have other books as well. Let me scroll through what Dr. Gibson had to say. Here is something written by Dr. Gibson, where we see, to here, we just click on this and we can see where this word appears. Now here, Dr. Gibson has told to you that much is now known as the toxicotic causation of disease. So what relevant he is telling is that natramur is related to malaria, mercurius to syphilis. So that is how the causation is also dependent from the disease tissue. So this was what I had run through the philosophy section. And doctors, you can see how quickly the knowledge of philosophy is also so important. So we can use this knowledge as per your time and relation with the case. At this time, at this point, let us come to the big question that we have, which remedy to select, which is going to be the similimum to my case. We have to select the first remedy just because it is standing out from the rest of the 386 remedy or is it first in lining among them at this point now let's go through the filter options that are present in our zomio for this i just have to see this option of show repertorization tools and a click will take you to a new ribbon on the top which is showing a lot of filters due to time constraint we are not able to tell you all the filters, but we do have a training and demo session where I can explain you all of the same. There are so many filters 
and let's go to the most popular filter that is the cross filter present in the strategy filter section this filter allows you to view only those remedies that cover the symptoms we see as most important symptoms in the case now here in the case of 42 years old person first rubric of rheumatism and fourth rubric of asthma from clark's repertory seemed very important to me so let us select first and fourth now when i click on okay the software will only show me those remedies that are covered by all the selected remedies look at this the remedies have come to 42 from 386 remedies we have just 42 remedies in our repertorization sheet from the three digit number of 386 now we need to select one remedy from amongst this 42 remedies which is still a task for me but wait what if i want to make this even simpler let us go back to the case a very important symptom was present in the case he was healthy before he got the bronchial asthma attack after getting wet on the head this time since we are already weaving the repertorization sheet let us use another filter of entry point elimination now this time we are already weaving the repertorization sheet and this filter that we got from the strategy filter it will not only filter the ones that are not relevant but also give a way to the most important rubric that is ailment from getting wet i select the third rubric ailment getting wet head and press okay now here we are the rubric recorded is from the asthma chapter and let us see the rubric from the source book what we have come to the conclusion is there is only one remedy that is rustox that is covering all the rubrics and to be specific the one entry point of the case a wise homeopathic practitioner knows the principles of prescribing and repertory is an index which allows to narrow down the remedies but the authority from selection of the remedy remains with materia medica we had this patient with getting wet ailment and had rheumatism in the past now we want to read through materia medica right this is also possible just with a click you can see that there are on the right click so many options over here the first option is symptoms covered and not it will tell you as to what symptoms are covered by rustox the second option is keynotes option you can see how beautifully the keynotes have come to you this is all compiled from all the materia medica that we have so that you don't have to browse through all the repertory all the uh, materia medica you can see the guiding indications you can also see the keynotes and also the confirmatory symptoms so this time as you see we have been already viewing the repertorization sheet and now that we have got rustox i want to read about rustox in detail so let's go to this option of library and select on browse authors and we can search the author over here we want to read it from dr john henry clark right so let's type the name of the author and as you can see the author name coming over here on the left and the books written by him so dr henry had written over 21 books that we have in our system and we want to read about materia medica the famous dictionary of practical materia medica by dr john i click on this option and i can see all the remedies in front of me rustox that we have to read about i click on this rustox option and i can see this in full view as well if i want to just read it and i just want this to be going at its its own pace you can just keep it on the left bottom option of inverted triangle and it will automatically do its job we also have an option of add notes over here we also can increase the font as per your need or decrease it and also change the font colors so that it will be easy for you and you don't have to worry about scrolling it up and down now what are we looking for over here after here that we have inclined to read on rustox chapter 
I select the causation paragraph. On the right side below, we can see this find option. Let me type about getting wet. This was the ailment in my case. You can see just in nick of time, we have got this word of getting wet. And we start reading from here. Rheumatic paraplegia from getting wet line. So this case definitely confirms that we have a causation of getting wet and rheumatism to be very specific in my case. So this is how you confirm about any materia medica remedy that you want to see. We also can see any other options that are there along with getting wet. So wherever this word of getting wet comes, we can even search for the same. It is noticeable that among all the remedies have relations to some kind of conditions like accidents in ordinary life in flux materia medica like arnica treats conditions which are followed by injuries or argentum nitricum treats the effects of apprehension before an interview or examination. So these all conditions can be listed under the causation or ailments from as we note in the history. Now Clark's repertory has this chapter as I had already told you where we go in the repertory section and look where in the causation and there are the alphabetical order with drugs associated to them. So let us also confirm from there I go to the section of repertory, I click on the causation and I type getting wet. Say for example, over here we type wet and you can see the options coming in front of wet that is wet getting and head. We can see there is one rubric with heated vent and we also see the stocks over here. So now why we have to see this, though we have been you know, put up to the fullest utility to give us talks, but it also is useful to find out the scope and limitations and we are properly understood and implemented in our practice. How do we prescribe rust talks? As you can see, we can just right click on this option and we can see the other options in materia, cases. We can even see the remedy picture of this. And we just have to click on this option of prescribe. Here we can even write down the complaints. Like for example, asthma in my case. And the potency that can be found out very nicely with a very beautiful option of potency selector. All that I have to do is go into this utility chapter which is there in the menu option. And then click on the potency selector. You can write down the relevant information of the patient like the patient is adult or patient is mentally intelligent, vitality is good, say for example high and we can go to the other relevant options as well. Say the fundamental is SORA, we want to get relief to the patient and here you get the potency that is 200 to be very specific in our case. So this is how you get into the potency so that you don't miss anything. Now that I had to prescribe Rustox, I just click on this option and write down the potency and do say, say one powder, repetition say OD and say for a week or so. I select the option and write down the complaint and select OK. How do I verify where it has gone into? Is I go into the follow up option and I see this patient has been entered with Rustox. We can also add any number of remedies in this case. Say for example, SACLAC and we just add to it. We can even take a printout of this by clicking on the option of print and you can see what medicine was given to Sachin. We also have a remedy response option over here. Say for example, the patient has come to you and said that he is 10% better. We can see the response details with a click. Here you can see the second prescription also very beautifully explained with detailed structure. Now we all have first prescription going very nicely, but it is the second prescription that is very important for us. And this we get helped by all these details which are followed by amelioration. So as you saw, this case was very well treated. And we gave him also some tips to follow to improve. 
Our selected remedy was Rustox and the final prescription was Rustox 200, followed by repetition of a dose whenever the, the need was there. A dose of constitutional medicine was also given. We can also see that there is a very beautiful chapter of utility where we have certain patient instructions given. We just have to type down the disease condition, say asthma in this case, and we can see how beautifully the symptoms, do's and don'ts, and avoiding allergens is also given. We can increase the font over here and read it as per your choice. Or we can even take a printout and all we have to do is just hand over to the patient. So the patient also feels relieved that the doctor has not been only giving medicine but also certain clinical conditions, things that we should be taking care of. There is a separate chapter of diet and nutrition as well. See for asthma in this case, we can see what all diet and management has to be done as per se so that the patient also doesn't land up into any other problem otherwise. We also have other options in Zomio which are not only helping you to the fullest ability but also taking your practice to another level. So we gave him some tips to follow and we used the do's and don'ts section of utility to explain the ways in which he could be helped. So I hope you enjoyed this session and I hope you got to learn from this. We would welcome your suggestions and any of the feedback that you suggest too. Until next session, take care. Bye. All right, friends, uh, that was Dr. Archana for you on this session that we had. And uh, now we will move on to the lucky dip for 2023. Let's see who the winner is. All right, your eyes down on the timer. Okay, that's Dr. Sharayu Purunkar from Maharashtra. Congratulations to you, Dr. Sharayu. A Zomio software worth 53,100 rupees, absolutely free. So congratulations from Team Homepath to you. And this is a wonderful, wonderful gesture from Dr. Jawahar Shah. My dear friends, our next lucky dip will be held on the 10th of uh, this month. And not to forget the mega lucky dip. These are the dates in front of you. 31st of Jan being the mega lucky dip. We will have one lucky winner traveling all the way to Dubai and can take one person along with him or her. It's very simple. All you have to do is just, uh, you know, participate in this lucky dip. Is Just buy either Zomio or if you've got a Zomio, upgrade it to our Zomio ultimate range. And uh, you also seen how Zomio software how does it look what are the functionalities the advantages features benefits in detail we also do have a team of doctors available uh, throughout the day even on sundays in the evenings where we can give you a live demonstration if you want some more details uh, and one-on-one -on -one training these facilities are available you can also go on our website and book a demo as well that's on www.homepath.com but thank you so much for your time and patience, all those who attended. It was good to see a, a decent number in attendance today. Once again, reiterating the fact that there is a 40% off on all our products. So make use of it. Our, our teams are constantly in, in touch with a lot of you through emails, through, uh, through WhatsApp campaigns, giving you a call. So please open these emails, have a read through them. You never know. You could be the next Dr. Sharayu who just won uh, herself a Zomio software today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. Once again, see you on the 10th of January uh, on a Tuesday, 1 p.m. That will be the time. And uh, once again, thank you very much for being part of this wonderful family and giving us your time today. Enjoy the new year. Happy and a prosperous new year to all of you from Team HomePath. Thank you.